three and a half kilos of compots and to make it into jam. While all the fruit's picked off the branches, kumquat jam is almost ready. My lids are in there being sterilised and I have my jars in the oven. So, almost ready. I'm about to check to see if the kumquat jam has set. Put this in the fridge, actually in the freezer. If you push it and it moves aside, it should be ready to go. Oh, look at that. You see how there's a skin on the top? That means it's ready to be bottled. So that's good. Might have been a bit hard to see, but okay. My jars and my jam. Okay, here we go. Just wiping the tops with vinegar on a tissue, getting any sticky stuff off the top. Okay, all made. Uh, I made about 10 litres. I ran out of little jars, so I put it in this big one, which we'll use first. I'll wait for them to seal. And a little trick I learned when making jam is to put about a tablespoon of um, vinegar in the jam after it's finished boiling and that helps to keep it longer. And this is the seeds from the kumquats. I put it in a muslin bag and that was inside the pot, placed inside the pot when it was boiling and just left it in there the whole time because it has pectin in it and helps to set the jam. So don't forget to do that. if you can see that but that's the moon it just looks so beautiful the end of a beautiful day